Yeah. All right, how are you doing? Good. So have you filled out your application for the PTD? What is that? Step up a little bit. Did your attorney not speak to you about the pretrial diversion? Yeah, I told him I didn't want to take any type of probation or anything due to my veteran status right. and me and my parents have already, my mother actually wrote a letter to give to the court. My father already went down to the office to drop the charges, so I'm not understanding why I have to take a plea for this case. Oh, you don't have to take a plea, but uh, your attorney will speak to you about people dropping charges mm -hmm. because some cases the complainant can say it, they don't want to go forward, but this is not the complainant's case. It's the state of Texas versus. Right. And the reason why it says the state of Texas versus whenever you have alleged crimes that have been committed, the crime is against the state of Texas. Okay. So Ms. Ferguson, yes, sir. Uh, she doesn't want PTD. So give me a jury trial setting, please. Okay. So if I take it to trial, that means I get a, a longer sentence or something, right? You'll have to speak to your attorney. What I can tell you about jury trials is what ends up happening is your attorney is present. The state is present. There's something called jury selection because this is a felony. 12 people will sit in the box yes, and the state will present their case through witness testimony or whatever evidence they have. And then you and your attorney can present evidence if you choose to. You don't have to because the burden is on the state. And then the jury will deliberate after closing arguments and they will make a decision on whether you're guilty or not guilty. If they say that you're guilty, this is a state jail felony. Range of punishment is anywhere from 180 days up to two years in the state jail facility. And depending, I don't know your case. All I know is the charges. So you may be eligible for probation from a jury. All right, Ms. I'm already a felon. Is there any way we can postpone this? Like reset my court date? Because I don't she's really talk you, to my... She's giving you a trial date now. What's the date? February 12th. All right, your jury trial date is going to be set for February 12th. Once you sign the reset form, you're excused, and you'll need to be here at 9 a.m. for jury trial. Uh, Judge, I'm sending my Good morning. Happy Thursday. Oh, yeah, it's Friday Eve. It's Friday Eve. Hello. Good morning. All right. So there, today is your plea deadline date. Judge, um, I, uh, I spoke to the state. Today is the first day we have power back in our building. Uh, we've been without power for like three weeks. Uh, so we're a little behind on trying to get some things, uh, just opening files and whatnot, because uh, they were saved on, unfortunately, on the computers. See, this is what I tell people. And this is why people need to watch documentaries. This is why people need to watch movies that are disaster movies. Everybody wants to put things on computers. And I always say, you know, it's great to put it on there. It's great to have backup, but you still need the paper. What happens if system goes down? And you know, I've been the canary in the coal mine here as well. I've been telling people what happens because they're putting everything online. What happens if this system fails? And it appears that it may fail because how long have we been waiting for Odyssey to go live? Has this been like 20 years or something? There was a rumor of this when I first started practicing. So it's been over 20 years. And then other places, they said they don't like Odyssey. But we we're supposed to go live with Odyssey at the beginning of the year. When, when is it coming live now, Norma? May. And actually, oh. I think it was supposed to be February. Yes. That's what I was about to say is February because I saw that. Oh, that so email. it's May. And actually, it was supposed to be before February. And then they kept pushing it back. So now we're in May. And here's my prediction I predict that it's not going to be live in May. That's just me. Uh, Jim Weed, are you with me on that? Collection texture, highly. If you talk to somebody, that program is installed. There we go. Texture. That's what it's texture. called. Text share. Text share. All right. Text share, people. Text share. Uh, Travis County uses it. There's, there's a bunch of counties. 
And to me, they're doing all of this training for Odyssey. And if a program is so good, it should be similar to your cell phone. You should just be able to turn it on and figure things out. All right. So, Judge, what I'd like, and I think the state is okay with it, uh, two weeks from today, I think is the eighth. Uh, just let me catch up on a couple of things because I have some things I want to present before we make our decision. We do have a tweak to the offer, which may help. But if you could give us to the eight, that should work. All right, Norma, can you recall this for the eighth? Yes, ma'am. And Norma, we need to increase our docket since I think the dockets that week are light because Odyssey was supposed to be set up. Oh, oh you mean for that week? Mm -hmm. So we can add cases to that week and yeah, let's increase the, that. All right, we'll bring you back on the 8th. Perfect, thank you, Anna. That will be your final plea deadline day. Perfect. Maybe you see you. Oh, once you sign the reset form. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right, so today is the plea deadline day. Judge, it, it is. Um, we received the uh, confirmed offer from the prosecutor earlier this, well, earlier today. Um, well, I mean, today, because the plea deadline date was set on, no, the plea deadline date was set for January 11th. Yes, I mean, we were here last week, and I think what they wanted to do last week was reach out to the um, complaining witness before they solidified an offer. They did that. Uh, they made that offer today, Judge. Um, ordinarily, I wouldn't be asking for more time, but I'm just going to ask the court if the court would bring us back on Monday uh, so that I can sit down with Mr. Hugo. Mr. Hugo is not from the United States. He is an American citizen, mm -hmm. uh, but there's some cultural and concerns that I have and I'd, I'd like to be able to sit down with he and his family uh, over the weekend and, and give you give the court an answer on Monday. All right. I, this I, is the last setting for a plea deadline. I, I understand. I appreciate that. I, I have an idea where we're going. It's just I'm not comfortable just speaking to different people over the phone. And All right. I'd rather do it in person. So we're going to bring this back on the 22nd. Thank you. Judge. And Ms. Ferguson will give you a reset form. Thank you. Judge. You're welcome.